kind of wondering how it is we have 162 families using the credit because there's 1,200 kids at CHS and our free and reduced lunch program is at about 35%. So that's like over 450 kids, I'm not a great mathematician, who are getting free and reduced lunch. So how is it 162 families when I know there's at least twice as, and I know, so if each kid is in like, there are two kids per house. I feel like CHS should be wiping us out, if you follow what I'm that, saying. Yeah, so. Well, I, that, I think that's a, a question for a longer term. I'm, we could get into a long, how do we promote this? Why is it not selling? Uh, is not so much the point tonight. So what but I, it, maybe if I can add. Go ahead, Director. I just, it's okay. like uh, we're getting off the subject. But, uh. So to quantify, I think what you're getting at. So just, if you look at the first year of the program, there were 199 applicants and 165 were approved. If you look at year two, 200, there were 209 applicants with 167 approved. And so we use the criteria that already exist in terms of whether families are on school lunches, SNAP, different programs. And that way we as staff don't have to necessarily go through and vet the people that have already been vetted away. So yes, there's room to grow. I agree with you. That's a big discrepancy from the numbers you see, but that's also what we're, you know, even at 209 applicants, we're not seeing a ton of people. We, and to the mayor's point, you know, we can have a conversation about how we're advertising. Um, we've tried a lot of different methods, including translating to Spanish, including advertising over at the pool, advertising at the library, advertising in, in City Hall, in the finance building and different things. So we're kind of on this constant path of trying to increase the message and increase awareness. Uh, I can't speak to exactly why more people aren't trying to take advantage of the program right now.